eProject Builder 3.0 has a new feature to automate data transfer between EPB and the U.S. Department of Energy's Compliance Tracking System, or CTS. This system is administered by DOE's Federal Energy Management Program, or FEMP, to track federal agencies' progress towards meeting Section 432 of the Energy Independence and Security Act of 2007. This video specifically covers using the EPB CTS feature for the initiated projects report. To reduce some of the reporting requirements, this new EPB feature allows users to transfer data for all of their approved projects in EPB to CTS by exporting project data from EPB into CTS through an Excel-based upload template. The CTS upload template can be generated by going through the following steps. Once logged into EPB, click the portfolio page at the top. The portfolio page contains a list of all of the user's projects in EPB. To export project data, click Data Export on the left-hand sidebar. You'll notice that there are two possible options, Default and CTS. Click CTS. The data export displays a filtered view to show your projects that are eligible for the CTS export feature. Eligible projects include federal government ESPC, UESC, and direct funded projects that are in approved status, meaning that the project builder has entered and submitted project data and the project initiator has reviewed and approved the project. Note that all project roles, including the project initiator, project builder, or project viewer can access the CTS export feature as long as they have at least one project that meets the aforementioned criteria. Choose which projects to include in your CTS report by clicking the checkboxes next to the projects. Or to include all of them, you can click the checkbox at the top. Click the Export Selected Projects button. This will download the Excel template, which you can save to your computer. Opening the CTS Upload Template, we'll find four different tabs. The Project Upload Template tab contains the project data populated from eProject Builder to be augmented and uploaded into CTS. Some CTS data fields are not available in EPB, so users must enter additional data or modify pre-populated data. For example, while EPB does populate the sub-agency acronym field, this field will need to be modified to the correct sub-agency acronym in order to be uploaded in CTS. Users must also enter the correct agency-designated covered facility ID in order to upload the template to CTS. The facility name field is optional. Users may also supplement or edit other fields. This includes project information such as project identification, project status, or project implementation cost by funding source. Note that there are different columns for different project types in the funding source section, including ESPC, direct funded, and UESC projects, all of which can be exported from EPB into the CTS upload template. Users may also enter or modify information for project contract costs, project cost effectiveness, estimated annual energy savings, estimated energy or water savings, and potential conservation measures. More information on each of these fields, including terms and definitions, is available on the Data Dictionary tab. The Current Projects tab serves as a log of projects that you have already uploaded into CTS. Once you have added the desired project information, save the file to your computer and upload it to FEMP's Compliance Tracking System. In the future, the eProject Builder CTS export functionality will be expanded to also enable efficient data transfer for the project follow-up report and the annual investment report. This concludes the eProject Builder video on the CTS export feature.